The all new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. This long shot coming over. Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, Laurel Park Racing fans. It's Friday's races. Ten of them on the program. We'll bring you all the races from start to finish on our replays today, including the official results and prices in just a few moments. Jim McKay, Maryland Million Day is Saturday here at Laurel Park. Gates will open at 10.30 a.m. Post time for the first race on the 12 race program at 12 noon. Be sure to arrive early. The first 4,000 program purchases get that Maryland Million, good-looking Maryland Million commemorative cap on Saturday afternoon. It's Tronic 5 Friday here at Laurel Park for the Friday program on the uh, turf for races 6, 7, and 9. The first, third, and fourth off the turf on Stronic 5 Friday. Here's the opener in the first of 10. Blind up. Of the Laurel Park opener, you can never tell out first. A try try color set up there, and the gray bin redeemed is also in the mix. Here's the favorite, Brock Mononoff on the inside. Moving up to Brock Mononoff, now second and on the chase of the speed of You Can Never Tell. You Can Never Tell a half length from Brock Mononoff. Try try colors in third, then bin redeemed back in fourth position. About the three path. I've got a plan. Is about four from the front. Back to Isabella's magic. At last is Crazy Wild Bill. Into the turn, You Can Never Tell at the opening quarter 22.85 into the turn you can never tell length and a half for the favorite Brock Mononoff then it is back to being redeemed has got six to make up now I have got a plan and try try colors crazy wild bill Isabella's magic top of the stretch you can never tell the target to catch leads by two from Brock Mononoff and then been redeemed in third half mile 46 37 down to the last furlong they go it's you can never tell sharp speed and going away now you can never tell and Kevin Gomez by six, seven legs from Ben Redeemed in second. That I've got a plan. And Brock Mononoff trying to hang on there to fourth. Very tight there for fourth. Uh, crazy Wild Bill and Isabella's Magic outside. Minute 484. In the gate. And they're off. Pataz fired up out there with the blinkers on to the lead. Pataz is in front from 14 carat on the inside is total access and that speed mix to Brady's Palace. Right off them racing fourth in the pink colors and thirst for quality is next in fifth. Guns down racing sixth of the two path in Maryland bad boy rail and determined force back of the pack and I am butter is last of the inside. Seven lengths covers them. Pataz and Victor Carrasco firing on the pace at a 23.16 opening quarter mile. So around that far turn it is Pataz at Brady's Palace on the outside, getting a little closer under a ride. Another two and a half, and it's 14 carat in third, and thirst for quality is in fourth. Determined Force is racing fifth, and guns down six on the inside, followed by I.M. Butter and Maryland Bad Boy in total access in the back. 
They race to the top of the stretch now and make the turn for home, half 46.79. Three sixties to run. Pataz turns back the challenge of Brady's Palace to pop away by three now with a furlong left to go. 14, Carrot on the outside, tries to run into second spot, wide open for the next place there as Thirst for Quality has moved into fourth. And the inside guns down is in fifth. It is Pataz. Pataz dazzling with speed. Pataz by five at the finish. 14, Carrot was second. And then it was Brady's Palace and Thirst for Quality. Nine three. And they're off. Ready to run and cool man Cletus. Mice and men ask for speed on the outside. It drops back a little bit. Here's the Cosmo Wasp showing early speed to Katak. Has now moved into third. Mice and men back in fourth. And cool man Cletus drops to the back of the pack. We're ready to run and the Cosmo Wasp dueling together past that half mile pole. Mice and men and Katak is fourth to the inside. And cool man Cletus trailing. Ready to run. Tries to shake away. But here's the challenge from Mice and men into the turn with three furlongs to go. The Cosmo Wasp then followed by Katak. And cool man Cletus opening quarter 22.63 two and a half furlongs left ready to run mice and men on the outside almost on even terms now as they pass the quarter pole they race away by some seven lengths as ready to run drifts wide off that turn out in the six seven path carrying out mice and men but mice and men's now got the upper hand mice and men in front of length at the 316s mice and men from ready to run another six seven lengths back and it's cool man Cletus in third Weston Hamilton getting to work on mice and men and mice and men responds to open up three four lengths. Mice and men to do it. Cool man Cletus runs up the inside to second and ready to run was third. And the Cutswell Wasp. Minute 5.45. Load again. They are in the gate. And they're off. 
Starship United got a headache early speed along with Grace Isabella and two hot betting on the inside as well. Ephus is right there on the far outside, not far from the front. It's a break of three more lengths. Had the notion is followed by C. Monella in class of the far outside and Desert Princess is in the back heading into the far turn run. A dozen lengths from first to last. Around that far turn, the opening quarter, 22.64. Got a headache is in front now from Starship United. Ephus on the outside. Two Hot Betty down of the rail, pushing along there. And Grace Isabella's in between horses as well. They're chasing Got a Headache to the top of the lane. Got a Headache passing the quarter pole. Got a Headache in front from Grace Isabella. And Too Hot Betty down to the inside as they straighten for home. Into the stretch at the 360s, half and 46.21. And Got a Headache on the inside. Trying to turn back the challenger, Grace Isabella. Out of the center of the track is Too Hot Betty. And here is Grace Isabella. Grace Isabella head in front from Got a Headache. Too Hot Betty on the far outside coming with a late bid. Grace Isabella. Grace Isabella too hot, Betty. Then got a headache. Had the notion and Simonella. Minute four. And they're off. Fortune Cookie first out of the gate. Moonlight Shatter to keep in Brothers U. Here is Hydraulic down to the inside, but inside draw now Hydraulic. Hydraulic now perhaps ahead in front. Two Cuban Brothers U's right alongside, and two Cuban Brothers U going forward early is on the lead. Opens up about a length and a half on Hydraulic in the second spot as they round that turn. On the outside is Fortune Cookie, and between horses, DeGrom is up close too. First four well bunched, only three lengths separates them, and Moonlight Shadow, then Bronx Sand Man. Hefazo on the outside and Brighton Lane trailing the field. Opening quarter 23.44. And so two Cuban brothers you taking off to almost a three-length advantage. Hydraulic is second and Fortune Cookie de Grom still in between horses. And then Hefazo is next in Moonlight Shadow, Bronx Sandman, and Brighton Lane races widest of them all. The back of the pack about four deep past the half-mile pole. Half mile went in 46.57. Two Cuban brothers, you into the far turn, still leading. Hydraulic by two lengths. DeGrom trying to move forward now. DeGrom now clearly in the second spot. Hefazo trying to punch through down of the rail. Hefazo moves into third. Two and a half furlongs left to go. Two Cuban brothers, you DeGrom on the march of the outside. Three quarters of a length behind. Six furlongs a strong. I'm in at 11.30. Two Cuban brothers, you DeGrom on the outside. Hefazo on the inside is a wide open space at the 316s pole. The outside here is DeGrom. Hefazo on the inside and two. Two Cuban brothers, you battles in between horses, but drop back third, a furlong left to go. Hefazo or DeGrom, DeGrom drifting to the outside. DeGrom, Hefazo, Hefazo saves all that ground. Hefazo, 12 to 1, Hefazo, and Alex Sintron to win it. From DeGrom, in third is two Cuban brothers, you, then Fortune Cookie and Brighton Lane. Minute 42, 76.
Martin is in. Barrel of Stout. And they're off. On a spree with a sharp break. Bold Track is there in top hat and white tie up on the outside. Also, there's up against it showing early speed, too. And in between horses, hunt me down as they soar to that first turn run. Just in behind that group is Cast a Lot, and they're followed by Martin, widest of them all. Carried out a little wide there by Cast a Lot around that turn. All Lang Zion has improved a spot or two from the inside gate. And yes, man. And Barrel of Stout now saving ground from that far outside gate. On a spree is the leader. On a spree, half length and Front from Hunt Me Down and Top Hat and White Tie in third. Cast a lot tugging along fourth on the outside and Bold Trek getting a good journey on the inside fifth. The Red Silks another two and a half lengths back and it's up against it. All Lang Syne followed by Yes Man and then it's Barrel of Stout and Martin with a lot to do now. Opening quarter 23.93 to half 48.73. Honest Spree's been there throughout. Honest Spree the one to catch into the far turn from Hunt Me Down in second. Top Hat and Wide tie up three deep and cast a lot of settle down a little bit. Now launching a bid from fourth. Bold trek down inside there, fifth. And then it's up against it, sixth. And all Lang Zion is seventh and trying to move from the second flight. Top of the stretch on a spree turns for home. Six furlongs a minute, 13.89. The end of the stretch on a spree from Bold Trek driving hard second. Out of the center of the track is up against it, trying to claim third position. Furlong left to go on a spree. On a spree and Daniel Centeno, and they're gone. They've opened up four or five. Five lengths with a 16th left to go. Bold Trek a solid second here. Then it's Barrel of Stout third. Up against it will finish fourth and top hat and white tie. Minute 38, 53 the time. And they're off. Very sharp beginning there for Victory Chimes, who's flying out of the early lead. So Victory Chimes, quick-footed out of the gate, has taken the lead, but quickly challenged now by Mind the Gap on the outside. And a three-wide Rohrbacher on the outside, racing in third. Tom Hagen has settled back in fourth, and High Blue is in fifth. Flow motion is six while saving ground, six lengths off that pace. English Tudor right alongside of that one. And then it's back to Hard Red Candy. And Don jumped to the back of the pack. And he's one wild dude is the last one. Some 13 off that pace. Opening quarter, 23.46. Victory Chimes got a flyer out of the gate is in front from Rohrbacher bottle length. And then it's Mind the Gap racing third position. Tom Hagen well settled in there in fourth. High Blue racing next in fifth. English Tudor in between horses. Flow motion. Favorite pin down inside there. About five lengths of the front as they bunch up heading into the far turn run. And it's Hard Red Candy in between horses into the turn. Back to John Dupe. And it is one. He's one wild dude who's in the back of the pack now. Nine to close in. In a strong pace, the half 46.92. So they're midway on that turn, coming toward the top of the stretch. Rohrbacher to an arrow lead. Rohrbacher is just in front from Mind the Gap in second. And then set down to the outside in third position there. Here's Tom Hagen. Tom Hagen switching outside now. Tom Hagen. Tom Hagen on the outside to full attack at Rohrbacher. Rohrbacher. Tom Hagen head to head for the last furlong. Tom Hagen trying to get by a stubborn Rohrbacher. Rohrbacher digging down. Tom Hagen on the outside. One more try, but it's Rohrbacher. Rohrbacher to win it. Rohrbacher by a neck from Tom Hagen second. He's one wild dude was third. Followed by Mind the Gap and maybe English Tutor Flow Motion.
And they're off. Tis a doozy down to the rail with a sharp beginning. And here comes Pris showing early speed. And Lulu's on the move. On the move early is part of the pace into the first turn run. Where they're led by Tis a doozy down against that rail from Lulu's on the move. And Pris is in third. Samard shenanigan tugging along fourth position. And Life in Flash is racing fifth just off that rail. And Princess a go go. And Carly Angels in the back. Eight lengths from the leader Tis a doozy. And a doozy of a price leads the way here by a neck of the outside. He's a favorite. Lulu's on the move right after that long shot. Now they're almost on even terms with six furlongs left. Pris is racing in third and Samard Shenanigan is fourth. Life in flash and then it's Princess Gogo and Carly Angel in the back. Opening quarter was slow. 25-55 now with five furlongs left to go. Lulu's on the move. Can wait no more and takes the lead. Opens up two lengths. Samard Shenanigan now moves just a second from Tiz a doozy. A half mile and 50.09 into the far turn run. Pris is in fourth and Life in flash. Is racing in fifth position Position, just an even pace. Back to Princess Agogo and Carly Angel last. Far turn run, three furlongs from the Laurel line. Lulu's on the move on top by three lengths of Samard Shenanigan and Pris. And then it's Tiz a Doozy in life and Flash, followed by Princess Agogo. Another eight lengths back. Carly Angel's outrun. Top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. Six furlongs a minute, 14.55. Turning in now. Lulu's on the move. Solid advantage by five lengths of Samard Shenanigan. Life and Flash on the outside. They're coming past the 316s pole. A five-length lead for Lulu's on the move. Lulu's on the move. Kept the test. Nobody really closing. Life and Flash moves to second. And then it's Samard Shenanigan. Lulu's on the move. Lulu's on the move. We'll get it done to win by almost four lengths. Life and Flash second. Samard Shenanigan. And then Princess Gogo. Pris. Minute 46.33. And they're off. La Babia. La Babia, first away from the gate. On the outside now, here is Summer Kiss, who has a really speed, and La Croix Belmer. Down to the inside is right up close to, and boom, boom, girl. On the outside into that first turn run. As they round that turn, Why Like This is up close as well. And then in between horses is Princess Katie of the Red Colors. They're followed by Roma Delight, saving ground. Our little jewel racing back of the pack with next summer. And Grand Entrada is the last runner about 10 lengths off the pace up ahead. So opening quarter, 24.54. They're leading the way, La Croix Vermeer leads at three quarters of a length from La Babia in second and Summer Kiss on the outside. Why like this traveling just in behind them, racing fourth and just two lengths in the pace up ahead. Princess Katie is next, then Boom Boom Girl. Length and a half more, Our Little Jewel now has six and a half lengths to make up. Roma Delight still out of the inside. Grand Entrada and next summer is last. 49.61 was a half mile fraction into the far turn run. Three furlongs left to go. La Croix Belmer just in front from La Babia second. On the far outside, Grand Entrada making a big, bold run while four wide. Summer Kiss is right there to make four in a line. Just in behind them is Why Like This. Why Like This has a little bit of run. Needs some racing rooms. Trying to come off the inside and some traffic there. Into the stretch at the 316. Six furlongs a minute, 14.72. Just holding on. La Croix Belmer. The outside. Our little jewel with a big burst of energy. Our little jewel for Live Oak. Our little jewel takes off on the 
final furlong. From La Croix, Valmer second, and La Bobbia third. It's going to be our little jewel to win it. And a photo second, Boom Boom Girl may have just nabbed second in there. From La Croix, Valmer, unlucky why like this was in that photo as well. Minute 39.33. And they're off. Awkward beginning there for Holy Freedom has dropped way back. Kim's pet from the rail crossing the valley and come on Cali on the outside third. Dixie Duguid in fourth position on the inside. And they're followed by Madri Muggs and Towson now splitting horses within five lengths of the pace. Charming Emmy next and Perfect Party Girl. And Holy Freedom is in the back into the far turn run. So they're led by Kim's pet. Kim's Pet crossing the valley with a bit of room on the inside to come on through. And here comes crossing the valley right at Kim's Pet. Come on, Cali. And Towson the far outside tries to move from fourth. Opening quarter, 22.59. Madri Muggs is in fifth. Now just four lengths of four of them across the track as they make the turn in. Turning for home now. The far outside is Towson. Towson, come on, Cali. And crossing the valley. And Kim's Pet is still right there. The far outside, here's Madri Muggs trying to kick it very late. Down to the last furlong they go. And it's Towson in the battle will come on. Callie and Kim's pet deep in the center of the track. Madri Muggs tries to pick up very late a 16th to go. Towson, Towson, Towson at Laurel. Towson to win it. Towson three quarters of a leg. Come on, Callie was second. And Madri Muggs on the outside in the photo with Kim's pet. And Holy Freedom are crossing the valley. Minute five. So next up is Maryland's Day at the races. Jim McKay, Maryland Million Day on Saturday. Gates open at 10.30 a.m. First race of the 12 race program at 12 noon. Then back at it here on Sunday with a post time of 1.10. Racing Thursday through Sunday here at Laurel Park. Thanks for watching on Friday. We'll see you on Maryland's Day at the races. It's going to be a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Perfect weather for Jim McKay, Maryland Million Day, noon post time.